I'm with Emily on NSK TV. So today I have got a challenge for you. We are going to make a super duper Father's Day card with a little touch of magic. Now this isn't the easiest craft I've done and you may need to watch this video a few times and go back on it while you are creating your fantastic card. But I know just like me, you'll get there in the end. So I'm going to show you first the final product, what we're aiming for, and also I'm going to show you the mechanics of it and how it works before we start trying to make it. So here is our Father's Day card. It says, my dad, our hero. Of course, whatever you want to put on the front as in terms of the words or the picture, that part is totally up to you. Okay, so what we've got, it said pull here. I love you. And um, we're going to pull. And it says, my dad, our hero. So can you see? It has magically got lots of colour on it. So it's gone from having no colour to lots of colour. Wow, fantastic. But let's have a look what is really happening here. So there is some plastic. Okay, which is taken from our poly pocket and underneath on some cardboard is that image. On top of that is a poly pocket with just the black image, the outline using a marker pen, which slides into this hole. The plastic slides in front here and the coloured picture goes in the secret pocket at the back. So that's what we're aiming for. So if I was to put it back in, I would put this bit in the back and this bit in the front. Put it all the way through, just like that. ready for the big surprise and then it's ready to go just like that fantastic so what we need the colors are totally up to you but we are going to use some card and i've just picked um some uh favorite colors so i've got some green and some blue so i'm going to start with my green and you are going to definitely need a ruler and a pencil, okay, because we have got a little bit of measuring to do. So we're focused on the first half of our A4 card, first of all. So the measurements I'm going to use, I'm going to make a rectangle shape. Imagine half of that, half of the card. And I'm going to make a border, a bit like it's a photo frame. A border all around the edges. And I'm going to do a 1.5 centimetre border all the way around those sides. Like that. Okay, put that bit in there. So can you see a nice clear border around, a bit like a photo frame, like that, perfect. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm not going to do a border. Okay, I'm going to do a big rectangle, but then with a little column down this side. So, for our framed, I've got a 1.5 centimetre border around, and then in the middle, that is 10 centimetres. Here, I've got a 13 centimetres across and then I've got a one and a half centimetre column here. All will be explained. So the next thing I do is I get my scissors. Now please be careful if you're using scissors because they can be sharp so you might need some help. So we are going to cut the middle of this out so all we've got is the border left. Okay so the best way to do is to pierce a hole in the middle and then to cut around like that, okay? 
to get your square shape. Now, I will not be offended if at any of the points in this video you decide to fast forward me to get to the next exciting bit. That's absolutely fine. But I thought with a tricky craft, it's important for you to really see every stage and how it's done. There you are. Fabulous. So I've got my hole. Brilliant. This one and a half centimetre column, I am going to fold over like that. Okay, so now I can put that bit to the side. Right, so now I'm going to concentrate on the middle section. So I picked a contrasting colour, I picked blue, a blue piece of card. And you can straight away cut that into half, okay, and we can work with two halves. So our first half, okay, we are, there's our first half. Okay, now as you can see, that is less than half of a piece of paper. So our uh, measurements um, go, we have got 11 centimetres across, okay, 11 centimetres across. And then we have got 19 centimetres down, okay. Now, what we need to do, we are going to make a border on this one, but... Before we do that, we need to do a little cent one centimetre line across the top. One centimetre line across the top and then another one. And then all the way around, we are making a one centimetre frame just like this. So here is an isolated one centimetre line and then all the way around, we're making a one centimetre frame. Fantastic. Now, what we can do is we can do our design in the middle of that border. So whatever you want to put, whether this card is to your dad or whoever is close to you, whoever is going to be celebrating Father's Day with you, you can put a message in there or a picture. Now, I've chosen to write my dad, our superhero, and I've drawn a little superhero there. Now, on the card... We want to colour it in, okay? So you can make it as colourful as you want. It's important for the little trick to work that around your picture you do a black outline first. Now your black outline needs to be done with like a permanent marker, a really good marker that is going to dry. Otherwise it might not work, okay? So I'm going to go around my letters. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, you can take as much time as you want. I'm in a little bit of a rush because I'm aware that you're all watching me do this. But you can go to town, have as much fun as you want, colouring and decorating your card. Because I'm sure whoever receives this, the most important thing will be the hard work that has gone into making it. Now, when I was little, I used to make my mum and dad cards because, of course, I didn't really have any money and I couldn't go to the shop and I wanted it to be a surprise. So I would go around the house and I would find empty cereal packets and bits of arts and crafts and I would create something for them that resembled a card. And they loved it so much that at the age of 40, I still have to make every single card, okay? Uh, <laughs> so, um, yes, so beware, that may happen to you. Uh, but I think it's because it makes them more special, doesn't it? Although after 40 years, you do start to run out of ideas. So, my dad, my hero. Now, you've got a good week to get these made. if you really like it you get really carried away just make one for everybody that you love or you could do lots of different designs couldn't you now remember we really love to see what you have come up with so please send in your ideas to our 
NSK Non-Stop Kids Entertainment Facebook page and we would love to see them. Wow, we've got a big, big S on his top. We're giving him a bit of a cape. Oh, yes. And I'm giving him a mask as well. Now, what colour should I go for? A superhero dad. Ooh, what would he like, I wonder? So here's my uh, outline. That's very important to do that. There's my little outline. And we'll just add a splash of colour. And if you don't colour it, um, then it won't work. So the whole point is it's gone from being um, black and white, bit boring, to being really, really colourful. So let's give him a red cape. I think red is a fantastic colour for a superhero. Uh, I think the favourite superhero at the moment in our house is Captain America. So that is blue and red, I believe, isn't it? I better get a bit of blue on here. Okay, red cape. Superhero is a nice, easy idea. But your dad might have something he really enjoys. It might be um, golf, football, gardening, all sorts of things. Oh, so I said I was going to do blue, didn't I? Uh, right, okay, let's do some letters blue. Brilliant. You could use a crayon to felt tips. Use as many colours as you want. Make it as colourful as you can, I think. I think the more colourful it is, the more effective it is. So I've nearly coloured mine in now. There you are, and I can always come back to this, can't I? So it's coming on nicely now, look. I'm just going to do a little bit of green on my letters. And then we can move on to the next stage. But hopefully, by me colouring this in, you have caught up with all your measuring and cutting out. Because that does take a bit of time, doesn't it? And I did have a little bit of a step ahead with my measuring. So that this didn't take too long. Our hero. finish later so there's our hero i have colored it in brilliant fantastic so uh, i'm gonna uh put that aside for a second and the next half of your card okay so what we need is we need again a rectangle shape so it's actually going to be 15 across so use your ruler again 15 across and again 19 down just like it was before and either side you're going to do a one centimeter column and then you're going to fold those columns over like that brilliant and that goes inside your frame so that goes inside just like that and we're going to use some glue to stick that bit together and stick this bit together but what we don't do we don't stick that to that no we keep that free we stick that column and that column together anything else and it might go a bit pear shaped right you could use a prick stick you could use a pva glue or you could use your double sided sticky tape so i'm just going to use uh, my normal prick stick today make sure it's plenty of don't want it falling apart Probably, out of all the things I've tried on this, I mean, the sticky back plastic, the double-sided tape is pretty good. It's pretty strong. But this seems to be doing the job. Great. And then, fold that over and stick these two bits together. Whoop, whoop. Stick that together like that. Just use my glue again. We're making some serious progress here, everybody. I'm sure you're doing a great job. We might just be watching for now just to see what's going to happen. Right, now let's see what's going on here. 
So as you can see, I've made a part for the plastic bit to go in here. And then this bit is a second pocket. Can you see? Two parts to that. Brilliant. Okay. So we're going to need something like this. Hopefully, someone in your family has got one of these. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in. And then you can cut all the way round. All the way round. So eventually, you have got something just like this. Okay, so look, I've just literally measured it and cut it out. It's two sided like that. I'm going to pop it in like this. It's all getting a bit exciting now, isn't it? Woo! All right. Can you see? Brilliant. And then with the green card, I have cut two little lines, 1.5 and 1.5, the width of it going across, which is 11 centimetres, just so it's long enough to fit at the top like that. Okay. And then I'm going to use my stapler and I'm going to staple that in place. Lovely. If you want on that top bit, you could do a little message. How about we love you? Now, this is the technical bit, all right? On the top of this bit here, you're going to use your marker and you're just going to draw the outline of the words and the picture. But we are not going to do any colouring in, okay? So, be careful, don't get all smudgy. Hold it down so it doesn't go out all out of place. And go around. This is what is going to be seen when your dad or the special person in your life looks at their card. They will just see this, they'll just see the outline. Oh, oh that's nice. That's nice. I could have colored it in. Yeah. Then they're going to have a surprise, aren't they, when they lift it up? And we are going to put a little part on it where we say pull, so they know to pull the card and get the special effect. Have a think, have a think. What are you going to write on your card? What special words? Or what pictures? really important they keep it all in line with each other why I'm really concentrating and you also you don't want to start leaning on it or anything like that you don't want to smudge it at this point you want to just give it a little bit of time to dry not very long just a couple of seconds now as I say with the border of your card you could put all sorts of things on couldn't you you could put sequins or beads glitter really go to town okay so i've nearly finished this outline i'm just doing the image now obviously it's a lot easier to do this now because i'm not having to think about what i'm drawing i'm literally just going over the outline. If you feel like you're not very good at drawing, which I'm sure isn't true, um, you could go on the internet and get all sorts of 
you know, little cartoon characters and all sorts of things to copy, to give you an idea of how to do a really good cartoon picture. I mean, mine's not brilliant. But it's the thought that counts, isn't it? I think. Right. So let me show you. So if you pull that away, you've got the image there and underneath you've got the coloured image. The one thing I haven't done is this superhero S on the front. Do that. So just double check your work as you go along. Can you see? So we pull that off and brilliant. Give it a little blow. Oh. Right. Oh, so I'm going to do, before I put it in, oh, moment of truth, I'm going to do a few decorations. So I'm going to write pull at the top. Pull. With arrows. I'm going to do some hearts. But again, you've got loads of time, so you can do whatever you want. Can you see? Pull. And then, very carefully, we put it in. Lift this up. Actually, that bit at the back, that is redundant now, so you don't actually need that. Because it might get in the way, so you could just cut that bit off. There you are. Put that in. Put that back. Behind the blue. Okay. Put that at the front. Ooh. Ooh, it's exciting. Put it all the way down. Right, shall we have a look then? So we've got my dad, our hero. Pull. Let's pull. You ready? <gasps> wow! Fantastic! Right, so, um, if that was a little bit tricky to follow, don't worry. Rewind it. Get yourself a pen and paper. Write down your measurements. Give it a try. If it goes wrong, try again. You'll get there in the end. It took me a few goes, but I think it's a really fabulous little idea for Father's Day. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please like and share, subscribe, and if you can, visit our GoFundMe page. I'll see you next time. Have a nice week. Bye, everybody. Bye.